So this is Summer Elizabeth Gray, and in this video, I'm going to share the story of her birth. So I had about a week of start-stop contractions before I finally gave birth. But finally, on the uh, 21st night, I didn't sleep the whole night because I was having contractions. Um, they were bearable with the hypnobirthing and I watched The Sound of Music and I lay on the sofa and I took baths and I just tried to kind of enjoy it. Just starting to get the house ready. It's now five to five. My bag, pretty empty. Just a pair of pants and a camera. And there's bags. And Hannah is currently doing really well. She's been up for nearly 36 hours now. We're having quite a few contractions, aren't we? Though? So sometimes what you want during a contraction is your husband to film you. <laughs> Half-feet and Marmite taste triangles. The counter app. <laughs> and it's 6.23. Contractions have slowed down slightly. Myself and Willow have just been out for a little 5k to tire her out. How are you feeling, Hannah? I think we called the hospital at something like half past five or six in the morning because I'd been up the whole night with contractions and at this point I was thinking this is a lot more intense than I was expecting. I wanted a water birth but at this rate perhaps I will have to have the epidural. Huh? How are you? Okay. Heading down to the Clarendon wing we've managed to get a little quick Starbucks en route and now just heading on in. When we went in, uh, my waters had broke in the car on the way there um, and it was undeniable because the water just didn't stop coming. Come on in. Where is it again? It's safe. Safe, Oh, I'm so nervous they're gonna stay two centimetres. See, little Jasper or Summer? This is the nerves that you're putting on this woman. Uh. She's nervous enough that she's just been wetting herself for the last <laughs> few hours. <laughs> because of COVID, David isn't allowed into the maternity assessment unit with me. So I go in and eventually they tell me that I'm only three centimetres dilated. How are you feeling? Okay, they've really slowed down, sadly, the contractions. And then I'll go and get checked at half twelve. And if I'm four centimetres, then we're allowed um, to go in. <laughs> Um, Anna's practicing her side, builder's uh, belly look. Going on like um, so I took a walk and when I went back about an hour later, they said I was eight to nine centimeters dilated. Um, so this was my favorite part. I was put into a wheelchair and at this point I thought, okay, I can do this naturally. And they took me down to the um midwife led unit where I could get in a bath and have gas and air and I just felt so elated because the baby was finally coming and my body was bearing down and I just had this feeling that it was all finally going to be the birth that I had dreamed of. The list of the um, car park. <laughs> How are you feeling, Cam? Really delighted. But we made it to eight centimetres. <sighs> right, shall I see if that pool's ready for you? Is this the most glam you've ever felt, Hannah? <laughs> I laboured in the bath, I was singing to Disney tunes, and um, yes, the contractions were incredibly intense but 
David was right there, breathing through them with me. And I had loads of positive birth affirmation tracks on to help me stay positive throughout the whole process. Can you wish that you are in there? I am strong. Mm. Not really. It's really nice. Is it? Do you just like baths? Is that why you're doing all of this, Robbie? I asked the midwife, I don't want to tear, what's, what should I do? And she advised me to get out of the bath she, so she could guide Summer's head coming out. This was the hardest bit for me. It took an hour and a half uh, to push her out. And I was really praying because I was at my end. I'd run out of strength. I'd run out of positivity. At this point, I was praying to God, like, if you are there, you need to help me get this baby out. And it was actually a really spiritual um, experience for me. I think I was given the strength in that moment to just do it. I really struggled to push. Basically, you have to just do a poo. And I didn't get that. And I was trying to not do a poo because it's embarrassing because there's a midwife there and, and your husband and you don't want to poo in front of them. But you have to just poo. And she was born and put on my chest. And oh, I was completely relieved that it was over. And also just astounded that my body had made her bones and her skin and her eyeballs and her hair and her nails like how does the human body do that i was so elated oh, oh my baby <laughs> david we did it i i did very little Eight. <sighs> Can't wait to eat this. <laughs>